Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Leon Smith player career mode. In the last episode, we start off against Stoke City, a rainy night indeed away. But unfortunately, we continued off our bad form and got the 1-0 loss away. Getting to the second game that we did have QPR, but this time at home. However, history repeats itself and we lost 1-0 with the only positive to take out the game. That Cooper had some unreal saves and one of the best saves I've ever seen. How we did get into our last game though against Hull City. We finally got a result. Only the one go in it, but Leon Smith was there. The poacher steps it in and we got the result. Which leads on today, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, the first game is against Leicester. They are undefeated. This is a must win for us, I feel like, to just push ourselves another level above everyone else. Not being the best form recently, we need to sort this shit out. Gonna get and skip the training here because I don't think I know because I'm already a starter. Let's get into the lineups. So here we have the latest show. Here is the lineup here against Leicester at the King Power Stadium away. As you can see, my stamina is a little bit near the halfway line. So I won't be surprised if Shui shoves me off halfway through the game. Perhaps we have seen the return of Lewis Boris and me and him has some very good linkage a couple of videos back on row. And also Plegazelo is in the centre back row. Player we don't really see a lot. But he is definitely starting today. He should do. He's one of our best players in real life as well. It's going to be a big ass this today, especially away to Leicester. See what happens. So here we are then, the King Power Stadium. Leicester versus Arsenal and Leon Smith. Can Leon Smith bring on the Green Jammers a win to the championship? We'll have to wait and see. 7.5 match rate in there. Complete full pass to half pretty easy. And three shots on target. It's a big ass from Shuey, but can we do it? Let's find out. Come on, boys. So here we are then. We are in the white and green. And it looks like Leicester are in their lovely blue and gold colours as well. On my channel, I am uh, managing Leicester City. So a bit of a plug in there if you want to watch that one. Though. They're on my channel as well. But today we are Leon Smith and Plymouth Fargo. The hometowns of ball through the Bally Mumba there. We can get it through. Good turn from Leon Smith. I'm on the overlap here. On the outside. It's a good shot actually for Rando. And a decent start there from Plymouth Fargo. All right, Bally Mumba. Did score recently on the weekend. Gets in the box here. Leon Smith's there, but he cannot get up for it. And they do head out here, Leicester. But it's still alive in. Number 16, I believe that's Lewis Warrington. Bally Mumba into Rounder here. Can you go out wide, perhaps? It's a foul down there, but nothing's been given. I have my hands on my head there, but nothing was given from the liner. I felt like he had a better view there to call it, but nothing happens. What the hell is this guy doing here, then? An absolute twat on the ball. Turn and twisting, going nowhere to be seen. 18 match plays and goals for 35 for Leicester. Undefeated, but hopefully we can give them their first double of the season today. Plays the ball out wide here. No name tags on the brother names, which is very normal. There's a good ball on the side here. And it's going through. And number 22 has scored. It's De Bruyne Hall, the captain. We expected this, to be honest. Jamie Vardy there beside him as well. It's a very good team from Leicester. And the home side go 1-0 up against the Green Army. Like I said, we did expect this. They're a very good time. They're better side of us by a country mile. I'll take a draw here, to be honest, but good finish from them. Need to be switched on a little bit more, though. All right, so we go 1-0 down. Uh, a very powerful shot from Debar Hall, very close against the Cubans. Like he was intentionally trying to injure him if uh, Cooper actually got a save onto it there. Absolute bastard, but come on. And Saxon, he's had a shock. Of Fatuatsu on the ball here. Back on the ball. Come on, boys, get the challenges. Someone hit him. Can't be twisted well from Pleggy. Still, we haven't got possession back though. I might have to try and drop back, to be honest, and try and help him out. One in there. Now Liam Smith's on the ball. The best player in the championship. Can he find a ball with the top of the Bally Mumbo? He fails his run. We probably should have done that. Oh, no, why the Fiat? So listen, the names have popped up above the names. That was very good. Vardy finds it. It's a match rich. Good save there to Cooper. Finally, the names are above the players. So I can actually identify who they are. Plague, what are you doing on the ball here? Nice one. Kane Halem inside here. Uh, terrible ball, man. I'm going to try and track back and get Vardy here. Well done there. Me doing defensive units there. Maybe I should be a bloody defender. Morgan Whitaker career. Kane Halem. I'm inside for one. That's it. Not better there. Keeping the possession play and build it up. Let's play this from Plymouth Fargo. Lewis Smith has done well. He's not going to rush anything here. That's it. Inside again. Good fake out by me. I ah, just couldn't get past Veltman there. I mean, I had two options with Saxon and Bally Mum, but one could have maybe come a bit more closer towards me. And because of that, now we're approaching the 42 minutes, and now and now Leicester are going to go through again. But Kane Hen has denied Mavadi. Can we get some before the break here? I'm going to try and run. Oh, Waker, you can find me, my son. That's it, Waker. Leon Smith does well, uses his muscles. Randall's there. We can't get it over to him, though. 
Alexandru. Oh, and I need to hook up my own teammate in Whitaker there. But 1 0 down. But to be honest, this might sound daft, I'm going to say, but I will take that. We're 1 0 down going into the second half. We are a second class team. We've always had been playing Fargo. I think we actually had the record for the whole of England uh, football last season. I think it was like 16 goals. So hopefully we can do it in the second half. Come on, boys. So here we are then. Second half begun. No changes so far, but. I was just going to go for a little talk before like I normally do. But they've just completely ran a go. Hence why we did that right there. But I can find Wicker over there. That's nice. Morgan Wicker bounces past. Number 13. I'm inside if you want Wicker. Terrible ball though. Really bad ball. Oh, you got a challenge in there. Just need to be a bit of crossbar there. Dini into Jamie Vade. Hopefully we'll not be kicking any corner flags today. Into Dini again here. Number 25. Plays it in. It's just a marsh rich. He do some of the ball here. Come on, Dan Scott, get the challenge there. Alexandro goes into Jamie Vardy. Good save there. I was going to say good save, but good block from Plaggy. I did think it was going to go through Plaggy and leave his legs. Hence why I did say good save, but honestly, I predicted that wrong there. But Mavadi, number 10. This ain't good here. When nothing's happened, I might have to try and play a bit defensive this game. Smash rate goes into Jamie Vardy, and he finally gets his goal. Jamie Vardy has struck for Leicester City. And we are 2-0 down to Leicester. They have scored a goal in both halves. And this is not good. Just no integrity from the whole of the Plymouth Fargo team at the moment. I'm the only one trying to get something going as per usual. It's a good move on there, to be fair. And it's a good finish. Terrible to play. Come on. Right, so once again, the Plymouth Fargo are struggling. We went in a phase, like I said, where we were doing terrible. And then I think in about, I would say, a good six or seven games, we was unbelievable. Oh, attack attacking there. We've gone. Bundu's coming for more and wicked, but now we've just gone back to reality a little bit. With a bit of one two hit. Lewis Warrington. Oh, why did you turn the other way? If you just stayed. Oh, what have you done that for? We could have been through. Mr. So Lewis Warren's absolutely massively let me down. Now look who's going through and goal again. Mavadi is absolutely killing it on this way against Kane Hayden. And it could be going again here. Jamie Vardy. And he's missed it. That's very surprising. At risk of getting subbed off. In the top right corner. Ricardo Piera comes on for Joe Veltman. Fair enough. Oh, I'm still annoyed about Lewis Warrington. He should have got that back pass for me there. I did everything correctly, but he's just let me down. We could be an LBY there. That should be a handball there, but we're actually not doing anything about it. Classic EA. De Bray Hall. Plays it into Fuwansu. Fuwansu, Fuwansu. I don't know that name, to be honest with you. Jamie Vardy into Samosrich. Dan Scott as well. A lot better here, but it's, it's too late. Cooper, what are you doing? Come on, boys. I'm going to go get out of the pitch. That's it. Nice. Oh, God. That just sums it up, doesn't it? Oh, and it looks like I've been subbed off because of it. Fair enough. I mean, Shui, I'm not going to be happy with you, mate. Absolutely disaster. We might as well just watch the rest of this, ladies and gentlemen, as there is only nine minutes left of the game. But disaster. Oh, what are you doing there? Don't lose your heads. It's kind of like the United players the other day. I mean, being crybabies. We've lost to the better team here. Bundu needs to be starting more, I feel like, as well. But just really bad display. Duff is really going for us well at the moment. But we are in the playoffs at the moment. Even if we lose this, we're still going to be in the playoff rank, which is going to be a massive achievement for Plymouth Fargo in the championship in this uh, player career mode. Obviously, we focus on Leon Smith. They're just toying us around it here. Hurry up and blow the bleed whistle, will you? Ben Wayne plays it into Lewis Warrington. And Dini's just literally tackled about five players there. And this could be free here. Pierce out of our misery. Don't do it. Just blow the whistle. Raph, Gillespie, just get out. What are you doing? And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. A two new defeat to the champions of the championship. I'm going to call it. I think they pretty much are still undefeated. They're going to be like a yo yo club. They're going to go up and down, up and down in the Premier League in the championship, it seems. But I reckon they're definitely going to be on their way this season back to the Premier League. Disaster from Plymouth Fargo once again. Another loss. Coming off from home, we won that one. I thought, you know what? Let's take the fight to Leicester. We're a good team, but no. They just absolutely schooled us. And we start off this episode with an L against Leicester. 2-0. Thanks to Debray Hall and Jamie Vardy. And the 16th takes a fred minute. We've had a shocker. We continue on. So, as you can see, we have dropped down to fifth. Now, but like I said, we are still in the playoffs. But I'm just going to show you how tight the actual championship is. And considering, look at Leicester. I mean... They are absolutely scoring it right there. They're just, they've pretty much won the league, haven't they? But out in Middlesbrough, Watford, Stoke, Plymouth, Swansea, Southampton, Leeds, Coventry. I mean, you literally, anyone 
can go anywhere in this position on the table at the moment, except from obviously probably Hull, Birmingham and Ipswich. They've had an absolute shocker. Regards to that, though, our next game is against Preston, going against our old manager, I do believe, from the Fargo right there against Ryan Lowe. Hopefully, we can get an absolute battering ram against our old manager. Let's see what we can do. Let's get into the lineups. So, let's join. Here is the lineups today. As you can see, Gillespie goes back over Plegazelo there in the, the starting team. You can also see a new change as well in Azaz going over Whitaker. Very strange one indeed. I would fire more in the middle, and it looks like Wright is in the central mid as well. And also, Helton is in for Lewis Warrington. So, a lot of change in the team. I'm still starting. Mumba's still starting. So, that's what I like to see. And probably Rando. Gotta get the job done, though. Come on. Right here then. At Moulton Road, aka Home Park. Hopefully we can get the result today, man. We need to get some results. And we want to see some goals for Leon Smith. He could be on the road again, the golden boot, but we need more chances. Complete four past the opponent half. Conversion rate of 60 and a match rating of 8.5. Pretty easy I could do this, but we need chances, especially for the 8.5 match rating and also the enhanced 10. Can be challenging. Let's see what we can do. Ready all then. Here we are back in the EFO Championship, but this time we're at home park. We're at the Fortress. Well, we like to say the Fortress. Let's start there. Green versus red. Who is going to come out on top? Is it going to be Shuey or is it going to be Ryan Lowe, our former Argo manager? Come on, boys. Dan Scott plays with the Howland here. Could be a good ball through there, but it has been pulled back because that is a bit of a disgusting chance from number 28 here. This could be a yellow or red card here, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to be a booking. It's a yellow card. A bit annoying that because I was for on goal, ref. But you have pulled that back, which is very frustrating. You could have just let the advantage play on. But game's the game, I suppose. But a disgusting challenge in there. Should be ashamed of yourself. All right, looks like I'm taking the free kick for uh, once. But I'm going to go short here. I'm actually going to play it back because I'm thinking... Oh, it's going to go for a long shot. But Gillespie's nicked it back off me. Fair enough. Dan Scott goes into Holland here. Into Randall. Randall gets clipped and now he has lost possession. Braves and well there. Goes into Strore. Osmlich. And then plants that name. Goes into McCann. Goes into Holmes. Into Kane. He goes for the long shot. It's an unbelievable finish. Where has that come from? What a finish from Kane. From Preston. That is an absolute corker. No one is saving that. The dip on that. Absolute dip to a Cooper. The fans are booing. I don't blame him because that was a travesty. He should not have that open space. In regards to that, then you cannot take away the finish. Sometimes you just got to hold your hands and be like, you know what, fair enough. What a finish that is. Looped it over Cooper as well. How do we answer back from that? Radio. so 1-0 to Preston. This is not good, is it? I mean, 1-0 down once again. Don't know what's happened to Argo. I mean, we've just really have just lost our way a little bit here. Needs to be a lot sharper. Good pass then to Leon Smith. Goes inside to Saxon early. One more there. Overlap there from Bally Mumba. Back inside Bally Mumba. Too late though. I'm too offside. Too denied. But the ref has actually pulled it back for the foul, which got a bit fortunate because I believe I was offside. I don't know why I'm taking this free kick from this angle. It's going to go short there. Inside here to Leon Smith. I'm going to go for a finish on my own here. And Woodman catch it quite comfortably. There's not the best kick out there. We could get onto that. We couldn't. Ooh. Oh, I thought we could have got it off Lynn Dave right there, but. Could not do it. McCann goes past Caden Hayne. He's really struggling at that, that back line. I'm going to say, we need to get Joe Edwards on. I mentioned it a couple of episodes back. We need to get him back. Dan Scott as well. Now we can get someone here. Bit of a counter attack going on. Inside here. Into Finizaz. Running from Finizaz. Oh, we just cannot bounce past, can we? I think it's the formation. We need to change formation, but Shui's just not doing anything with it. Really, really isn't exploiting the, the capability we have with some of the players in this team. It's really irritating. Inside that. Oh, don't go back. You've got to go forward there. That's it. Nice play there. Into Bally Bumba. Outside there. A lot better there. Inside here, Saxon early. One more. Good ball into Randall here. Randall! And he gets a goal back. Number 20 on the half. Oh, like, what a little dinkaroo by myself here as well from Leon Smith. Finally, a goal for Plymouth Argo in this episode. Look at this. Look, dink right over. And Randall with a brilliant finish. Absolutely corking finish. Very hard to do that with considering his overall the position he's playing. That's a world class striking finish. Come on. Right, so I might not be getting the goals, ladies and gentlemen, but I am getting the assists. Very nice. Oh, we need to add that there. Just got to keep it going now. That's a good play here. Holmes plays it into Potts. Plays it back into Oslech. Good save from Cooper there. Very good save from our keeper in the 39th minute. We're going to drag our player one. Well, I'm just going to quickly show you there. 
before we get swinged into the box. Can we get it out here, please? Well, yeah, now it is gone to me here. I could be on a bit of a one on one situation here. Oh, He's passed in there. He does well, Leon Smith. Goes all the way here. He's gone all the way. It's Lionel Messi. Leon Smith. He digs in. He's P ruled it through. And that, my friends, is why he is on his way to being one of the world class strikers in the world. What a finish that was. What a run. That is why I dragged him out wide. Lovely bit of composure there. Bounce to pass two defenders. See you later, pal. On the pace. No power on this. Just need to place it past these keepers on the AI. Lovely composed finish. Come on. So funny. Leon Smith is putting up the numbers he deserves. He's getting the chances. Just give me the ball and I will do the bits. Looks like we are going to be approaching half time here now in the 45th minute. Potter's on the ball here. Is Preston going to get one back before the break and make it 2 all? You never know. Potter gets into Holmes. Not bad play this. Ask Lich. Goes for a shot here. And unfortunately, we could be for a goal. You just seen in the top right corner in the middle of the screen. I could have got through. But the ref has blown it, which is fair enough. But I'm having a storm of a game. One goal, one assist. Two really good goals from Plymouth Fargo. Just got to continue on the second half and get a dub. Radio second half has begun. No changes from Shuya. Don't blame him. Coming off from uh, going 1 0 down, then bring it back. Means a lot, as 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 well. Try and do something here. Just go sweet over the play. That's nice. Could get a bit of an LBY going on here. But I did ask for it, but didn't allow it. Right does well, but it's not the best pass, is it? So it looks like the next fixture, ladies and gentlemen. The last game of the episode is against Blackburn away on December the 9th. So we are approaching January window. So do I leave or do I stay? That is the question. Uh, circling this young talent, Leon Smith. We'll have to find out very soon in the next couple of episodes. Keen here on the ball. Gives it to Oshlet. Good save from Coop. Out we go, please. Well, we'll just in and out. Get it out. It's nice where you want to see. I probably should be up on the last man really there to contest that. We couldn't do it. Oh, we couldn't get it there. Goal gets on the challenge in here. Goes inside to Oshlet. One from Dan Scar. Does well. And now we're going to Azaz on a little bit of a pass there. It was actually quite a nice majestic pass from myself. Eh? Inside hit. Can get something in here. Oh, just try to bounce past there. Well, Randall's done really well though. Really well. Oh, and Royston, shocking. Keen on the ball. Goes into Holmes. In to Potts now. Preston looking for that goal back to make it level. Good ball into the box here. It's a good header from Kane Hayden. And now we could be through here. Azaz has found Leon Smith. He's been pushed sandwiched between two defenders. We couldn't do it. I probably should have gone backwards there. Just one more and then ask for it again. Come on. Got to kill this game. Got to get a result here. Keen. Absolutely scored as Corker and well done there from Saxon early. A good block out there. Substitution though for Preston. Who is coming off here and on? There's a Jube Sagal is coming off Saxon. I think that's a very good move there from Shui. Considering that winger is getting a lot of movement. A bit more of a bare overall player to get on with. Play there. Just trying to concentrate there. Just watching the game really. Going right up for it. Oh, has someone hit him? Oh, it's been a bit laggy. And Cooper has done well. How's it lagging in single player mode? I mean... That's when you know he is, he is at a shocker. When that happens. No, he's headed down there by myself. Trying to go for a bit of 1-2 action. A good play this from Argo. So much better there. We could be through here. Bally Mumba plays a good ball. But it's just it's too shit, man. I'm literally behind the defensive line. You've got it in your locker to do that type of ball. And he hasn't done it. But hopefully, Pegasio can cancel out this Potts' cross here. He hasn't. He's done worse, actually. Good block from Dan Scott. He could be man of the match today. And it's gone in. Oh, for God's sake, guys. What has happened there? The bastard that got the yellow card in the first half has got the... Oh, it's got to go back from. What is this defending? Bouncing, ricocheting off people's heads, on pits, you name it. It's just... Oh, I can't believe it. Radio 2 or... I mean, I've, I've hit my objectives at 9.8, so I've done... Myself done nothing wrong. I've been definitely in the man matches game with probably Dan Scott. I know Dan Scott made the mistake probably the end there, but I could be through here. Come on. Could be through here. Leon Smith. Step over central. Oh, I try to get past it, but it's four and two. Go on, yes! We got lucky there. And Randall can be getting the man of match ball today. He has got the man of match. Two goes for the midfielder. We have found a winner in the nick of time. 
I can't believe it. I thought I messed up with the stables. Well, I did, but we got very lucky. Royce done really well just to keep hitting them after my mistake here. You can see here he was just contested to get that ball. He does play it to Randall. It's not the best shot in the world. It's right at the keeper, but the power beats the accuracy. Randall number 20 with the double today wins it for Plymouth Argo. Come on. Radio, so 3-2. Randall with the double. Unbelievable game. We just got to see off off now. I'm going to try and play a bit defensive here to help the team because we need to get the result here. Ooh, thought we had that there. And there we have it. We have got the result against our former manager in Ryan Owen. Bit of a hard game, but it was a wild one. A five-goal thriller determines Argo to win today with a lovely little finish at the end by Rando. He just gets on the end of it and we nick it. A good game for myself as well. Really good assist and a really good solo run from Leon Smith secures us the 3-2 win. There's me and Randall there. The goal scorers today. A 10-match rating for me. Two shots on target. 50% conversion rate. And 92 minutes played. We'll take it. We continue on. So to join the last game of this episode, you noticed it in the last game we have just played against Preston. We have got Blackburn away. As you can see, still sitting in fifth and we are going against 11th. They have played 20 games, eight wins, four draws and eight losses. So not the best for them right there. They'd be looking for playoffs as well this season we have got three skill points so let's get that on before we do anything else which do we want to do here then i think we gotta do dribbling again it's gotta just be gone on the dribbling um i kind of want to get that one to be fair i think that's probably gonna be the best bet there we'll get that on right there we've got one as well we get anything on the one anything at all we'll get the stabber up why not let's get our stand up to 80. have we got a for overall we have we're now a 74 right there so fair ado let's get into the lines and hopefully end the episode with a w so here we are now showing the lineups here for blackburn away at ivy league which i think again is another generic stadium right there as you can see pretty much the same team i mean it makes sense but the only difference is which is a really weird one is connor hazard is in goal over cooper that's very intriguing indeed i mean Hazard's okay to be honest he's actually not too bad as well a lot of people like him over cooper vice versa for me i'm team cooper all the way but hey can he do the job today against Blackburn. Can he keep us out? Let's see what happens. Come on. Alrighty, so here we are then at Ivy Lane. A big travel for Plymouth Argo. But I think we can get a result here today. I'm feeling confident. Come on, boys. Blackburn versus Plymouth Argo. Us in our home colours because there's no kick clash. Blackburn, a very famous club indeed. Hosted some true legends like Alan Shearer. They're in the blue and white today. Hopefully we get a result. We're just going to go short here. And that's it. We're just going to drop into the midfield so we can run back a pass there. Really good pass. Can we go out wide there, Rando? We can. He does get brought down, though. And the game... Oh, and it's a red card. It's an early red card for Scott Wharton. In the fifth minute, I was wondering why the, the play just suddenly stopped. Oh, that's disgusting. You should be ashamed of yourself, you bastard. Rodeo, so let's take that red card into our advantage. We're just going to go short here. And I'm going to go for a little one here. Because I'm telling you what, I'm fancying my chances. Oh, and it just goes over the bar. But like I said, we'll take the red card to our advantage. Hopefully that's going to help us out there. But very close from Liam Smith to absolutely corking a goal in the top left corner. Unlucky. All right, goal kick goes high. Can we win that down there? Hopefully our midfield can be very dominant in this game now because of that. Could be a ball through here from Rando. Rando can he get inside here. Leon Smith turns in, but we just cannot get the shot there. So unlucky. Good start though. Just got to keep going. Oh, the integrity is there with Augusta. I can just, I can vibe it. Especially with that midfield just being completely wide open now. We should get a lot of chances this game. Went from Rando though. He's done well. There's a gap through there. Went from Rando. Leon Smith is through on goal. Leon Smith. Can he make it 1-0? He can. Of course he can. I did say because of down the 10 men. We can take advantage of that gap. But we're going to be ratty. We're going to celebrate right in front of the way. The home fans right there. Of Blackburn. It's a great finish from Leon Smith. It's a tidy finish. A good challenge as well for Rando. He's definitely been the highlight player of this episode today. Good finish. Easy dubs. Radio, so 1-0 there to Plymouth Argo. But can we get any more? That is the question. So 16 goals in 21 games for Leon Smith. He's going to attract a lot of eyes, I think, for some top-tier clubs. I can see it. It happened with Jude Bellenden. It's with Birmingham. He went to Dortmund. Maybe that'd be the same with me. Maybe I venture off to the Bundesliga, to the Yellow Wall. You never know. Well, holds the store for this player right here. Here comes Leo Smith. It looks like it's a massive gap for Bally Mumba though on the left. Bally Mumba. What can he do here? We're just going to try and linger a little bit. We'll just try and come short from now. Good pass inside to him. 
We keep going here. Leon Smith, bit of a gap here. Leon Smith, oh, just goes wide once again. Ballymum nearly got an assist for his name there. Leon Smith nearly hit the brace. Just goes wide though, unlucky. So Blackburn's heads looks like they've just completely gone, to be honest. The red card has really, really bit him in the ass with that player snapping Rando. So he should have uh, been sent off. He's a young lad, Rando, big prospect for Plymouth Fargo. And he does something like that. Disgusting behaviour. Travis, number 27. Oh, a good foul there, advantage. Gallagher plays it into Hedges. Plays it into Rankin Cotello. What a wild name that is. He can pass Saxon and he doesn't. Saxon does well, but he doesn't control protection. Goes back to Gallagher, to Tronsen. So Schmerz is a good shot, but has it there. Does well, but look at the defence. There's nothing. If you look at the, the mini map, or whatever you want to call it, it's so open. Surely we get a lot of goals here today. Benazaz, we're trying to link up well. Ball down the line here. It's too delayed though. That's all right. Good ball from Randy. He's been unbelievable today. So ball to the box here. Inside, Zaz. I'm going to go one more. Shoot it. And there it is. Carmen collected from Leon Smith and the whole team. I asked for the ball over the top. But he's played it back as Zaz. And Wrighty has got his goal today. Another midfielder gets on the score sheet this episode today. Blackburn fans are fuming. There is a lot, a lot of booze. And I think a lot of it's going to be aimed towards that player being sent off because their whole structure, their whole game plan has been ruined because of that. I could have shot there, but there's such an easy gap to pallet back, get to right and get the assist. Come on. So 2-0 up in the first half. It's definitely game over. Surely we get the result here today. Pickering. Good possession to play this from Blackburn before the break. Could get something going here. You never know. We have seen it in football. A 10-man, 9-man team. Winning game still. Yeah, it happens. Gallagher goes into Pickering. Into Tronsand. Travis. Good ball there. So it's lost edge. Good, good block there from Skanskar. Been really good at blocking the ball this game, Skanskar. This episode has been very, very decent, I must say. But two goals there for a very, very weak Blackburn team there. I mean, they're doing shocking. A very strong team, though, for Plymouth Fargo getting the two new goals right there. But it looks like we're going to be hitting all our objectives today at this rate. Come on. Let's get into the second half. Radio, so second half has begun, ladies and gentlemen. No change from Shuey, it seems. Work on better timing, don't you start. Good turn, look at that from Leon Smith, though. Good pass off there. We get one more. A bit delayed, though, isn't it? I mean, I probably shouldn't have called that. I probably should just let him fly, do his thing. But unlucky. Sigerson on the ball here. To Slosh Mech. I say pronounce his name. Probably absolutely butchering that. But you got to admit, it's quite a hard name to pronounce. Here we go, there, Slosh Mech. Number eight plays it inside to Travis. He goes for a shot here, but how on there is there to block it off? Fair enough. Ooh, I sent some momentum from Blackburn, even though they're 10 men down. Connor Hazard, I'm here. Quickly kick it. I'm literally spamming the X-Burn guys to get him to kick it. Just throw it out. Let's show him on my own. Oh, for God's sake. Get Cooper back and go. Is that all right, though? Oh, I'm just trying to do something there. And because of that, I'm angry. Gallagher plays it inside the hedges. And a good save from Connor Hazard. Well done indeed. It looks like Blackburn in the next game. I've got Norwich, so it could be a double bubble loss for them. I'm going to do it again, though. I'm going to go out wide to get the cross it there. It's a good header. Connor Hazard as well. Connor Hazard. Throw the ball. <laughs> oh, for, what is happening here with these kicks? I don't know. Let's keep possession. Right here. What a ball that is from Roy. What a ball that is. Could get it to Finazaz on the back post. Finazaz, there it goes. Oh, it just goes wide. I probably should have gone across the floor. Very low from Finazaz there. Could have been on the goal street as well today. Julian Pizzeo comes on for Saxon early once again. Come on, boys. We can get more. The thing is, really, we don't want to like, kind of sit off this game. We want to get more goals because how close the championship is. So the more goals, the merrier on the goal difference. Because it might come down to it near the end of the season. Bally Mumba make the run out wide. Bally Mumba's on the ball. Can he find it inside? to righty can we shoot it here we have it's game over Plymouth Fargo have absolutely ran riot against Blackburn and it is a double once again for Leon Smith a good ball from Bally Mumba a good ball from Roy he gets a goal and assist today as well the away fans are laughing good ball there from Bally this is so much better here than just a little sweaty tramp goal there and we just tap it in easy past the keeper's left it's dominant it's elegant that's what Plymouth Fargo should be. Come on. 3 0 up then. And it's absolutely domination. What a turnaround. I did feel confident going into this game. I had a funny feeling we might win it. And my uh, hunch paid off. Radio Blackburn just trying to get something here. 
the Gillespie blocks them off well done and I mean look at this look I'm all on my own we just get the ball no obsession no I was going to say just get it a little bit more crisper we be fine I'm on the last man and no one is touching me at all I'm not even going to contest for that I'm literally just going to set it why not why the hell not also go and watch out for the offside traps and stuff and for well, the actual offside itself line other than that we're just too dominant Looking really good. Good ball into the box. It was a good ball. God has it. He's done well, Con Hazard. He kicks it quick and through on goal. Oh, he's going to do it again. What is this kicking doing? It's got to be a glitch there from the game because that's like three times in a row. Surely a player didn't do that badly. Bally number finds Leon Smith. Oh, it's unbelievable. Oh, four absolute sent ham to the shop there. Back to the butcher's big ham. Absolute mare there. Picker on the ball here. Plays that out wide to Sigerson. Number seven. What can he do from this angle? Can he get a goal back? Is he going to ruin Plymouth Forest clean sheet today? Connor Hazard does really well. He's had a good game, Connor Hazard, to be fair. He's made some decent saves, considering they are 10 men. And that will be the game, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to wrap up this episode with a 3-0 win, with a brace for Leon Smith and a decent goal as well for Wright. Two goals, one assist. Definitely the best player in this league by country mile. I've got a lot of eyes looking at me in the moment. You never know. We could go in January. I think if we just keep winning now, I know we keep going up and down, up and down, but that's two wins on the bounce now. If we just keep going, I think I might stay for the next season or to the end of the season. We'll have to wait and see. We'll continue on. So, Mr. Joe, we are going to wrap up this episode here, like I mentioned before the last game right there. Start off the episode, though, we did go off against Leicester, which we expected probably a loss there away, and we did. We got the 2 0 loss right there, but then we bounced back in a fitting. Five goal thriller against our own manager's team, Preston Ryan Lowe, with a 3 2 victory there. And as you can see, a 3 0 win away to a 10 man Blackburn team right there. So, regardless of that, I would say the summary very good. As you see, we've jumped back into second now with our one goal difference just being a little bit higher than Watford and one point in general behind Stoke and Middlesbrough. But let's see, as per are absolutely steamrolling it right there. Next episode, it looks like we're going to kick off against Millwall at home. Could we be a bit of a tasty one? That bit of a dirty bastards right there. Let's just say that right there. They're very, uh, very Brexit. Let's just say that. A bit of a Green Street team right there. Big fan of them. Could be a thriller right there. But if you did like this video, ladies and gentlemen, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.